Just living life, going to work, coming home, enjoying my family. There ain't no better job. You know what I'm saying? It's something different every day. You get to work with some awesome people, and you get to help people. Ain't no better job out there. Currently, I'm at Kaiser Zion Cancer Center. About four weeks ago, I went to my doctor. He said, okay, we're going to get an ultrasound done. And before I even got home, the doctor called me on the phone. All everything that was going on in the world just stopped and all I heard was cancer and I got it. But really it's all on somebody that you work with have been affected by cancer. And it also affects me as the leader of an organization that looks out after our members, that wants to protect our members and remind ourselves that our job is inherently dangerous. And we certainly are exposed to a lot of different things that the general population are that affect our health. And although we focus on the month of January, we wanna make sure that our practices, that our awareness and recognition of cancer in the fire service is year round and make things better for our firefighters and their health. Why is there a need to have this conversation? People say, oh, it won't happen to me, or maybe you've been on for years and you're stuck with one way of doing things, or you're brand new and you want to make a name for yourself. When people call 911, we show up in any situation. We don't know what was in all that smoke. It can be years later before it gets detected. All that needs to be slowed down and really looked at because you can end up where I'm at. You never know. The stats haven't changed. The numbers are still going up. We went out to the National Fallen Firefighters Memorial. We were there taking Andrea Gaxiola's family. Uh, Andrea died of cancer. She was a line of duty death from cancer, one of our own San Diego City firefighters and there was 200 and some odd names that were going up on the wall of honor. And the majority of those were cancer. We're seeing cancers that don't normally manifest themselves and we're younger. You know, we haven't even hit retirement yet. And I think that's one of the reasons why it's important to bring this up because it's not saying that we're doing a bad job. I think we're doing a great job, but we can always do better. And that's what's great about January. It's that reminder for all of us that, hey, we have that sticker on our helmet for a reason. Let's. Let's check each other because we want each other to enjoy a long, healthy retirement. My name is Kyle O'Neill, and I'm a fire engineer and the cancer and health coordinator for San Diego Fire Rescue Department. I'm a cancer survivor, I've been in remission for four years now. And when I started in the fire service, I never thought cancer was even a problem. What we were doing at the time by taking our BA off during overhaul was a bad practice. We're like a sponge, you know, we can inhale it, we can absorb it, we can ingest it, and we can get it through a puncture, like a cut in our hand. And so not to scare us away from doing our job because we're an aggressive fire department and we do a good job of protecting the public. But at the same time, advocate on behalf of yourself, make sure you're, you're thinking about your own health on a daily basis. If something doesn't feel right, get it checked out. By doing that, you're giving yourself a better chance of survival. If you did contract cancer, you're gonna definitely give yourself the upper hand. Well, I wanna share you know, my story, how I got cancer, and, and I hope it makes a big impact on you know, the whole department. Not just our department, maybe you know, worldwide. Sometimes, you know, when we're at a fire or just going to a call, you know, sometimes we get complacent. So that's uh, that's what I hope people will learn from this, just looking out for one another. And remember the three C's. Clean air, clean body, and clean gear. Again? Not good.